as we progress through the second half of the Big Ten championship round here at Iowa in 2005. On to 174 pounds, Illinois with another chance to pad its lead. Pete Friedel, junior for the Illini, the number one seed, ranked third in the nation at 174 against the two seed, Jake Herbert of Northwestern, fourth in the nation. And Herbert, one of those guys that's really helped the Northwestern program have a renaissance season. Wildcats beat Iowa in dual action for the first time in over 30 years, 37 to be exact, earlier this year. And Herbert, one of the reasons why. Yeah, another historical moment was Jake Herbert won the Midlands Championships that's hosted by Northwestern University. And he's their first champion in over 20 years. And, you know, they, they, Northwestern has a tough time there. And their, their program is on the rise. They have Herbert, a redshirt freshman. Whoa, oh, nice scramble there. And also Ryan Lang from Ohio. Lang's from Ohio, Herbert's from Pennsylvania. They're both blue chip recruits that Northwestern was able to get. And that's, they don't, they don't get, it's hard for them to recruit because their program struggled a little bit in the combination of the academic standards. They, they, it's tough to get the best of the best, but they've got two good ones. Well, it may be tough, but I'll tell you what, who's proven it is some of these uh, schools that really are winning national titles. Uh, Gentry from Stanford and Harvard actually, I believe, had Jesse a national, Jesse champion. Jesse, right? national champion. So it's coming more that way, and that's important to know. Yeah, you could be smart and tough. Wrestling is not like the football and basketball situation where these guys are looking to go pro. These guys are in it for the challenge, the pride, the, the thrill of it. And, and wrestling teaches them these life skills. You find a lot of wrestlers that are serious scholar athletes that are able to excel in, in life and all sorts of different jobs. I know I know, Coach Gable, you built those Hawkeye dynasties with 15 NCAA championships, 25 Big Ten championships. But you got these guys going on and finding great success in their different careers. Yeah, they're not they're staying in the sport, and that's where I like them to. But but uh, there's a lot of them are above and beyond that, and they're up in other, you know, whether it be a lawyer, doctor, or dentist, or, you know, whatever they're doing, you know, they're just doing a great job, and, uh, you know, that's, that makes you real proud, too. Sure, I stayed last night in Bruce Kinseth's hotel. He's a, was, was he's a, I know he's an NCAA Finals for you, Coach Russell Trout. Did he win one, too? Oh, uh, he was OW, pinned everybody in the Big Tens, pinned everybody in the Nationals, and he won a National Championship. Outstanding wrestler, most pins. He took all the awards that year, and so, yeah, he is. He, so did he, he beat Trout in No, he lost to Trella. So did Deanna. But, but um, you know, Trella, you know, he's now he beat another Hawkeye here, different Trella. But, uh, you know, Ken Seth is an outstanding uh, entrepreneur guy in, in hotel business. So, hey, you apply that wrestling work ethic, that intensity, the goal setting, you, you find success and you get after it. I understand Lincoln McElroy, we talked about him earlier, one of your Hawkeye legends. So he's he's got a hotel in Iowa, too. You guys must have a lot of visitors here to Iowa City. Well, that's a good place to come. You like it here or not? I do. I love, oh, I love Iowa City. I always loved wrestling here. Before I get you guys get away as we look at this championship match in 174 between Friedel and Herbert. You know, Iowa's had a great record here, 146 and 12 since opening this building in 1982 as these two guys scramble for the moment. And Herbert trying to wow. get in there and get a deuce, and he does get it done. That Jake Herbert taking wrestling. the lead. But the guy to your right caused you a little heartache back in 1986. You hadn't lost in this building yet, and he and his Penn State Nittany Lions came in here and gave you a loss. Well, was he the coach then? Or, I mean, no, I was an athlete. There. I, I'm sorry about that, coach. Did I, you win the match? Yeah, I well, wrestled Steve mistake. Martin. 11-3 uh -oh. <laughs> over Martin. Well, you know, we, all, we I remember, ball all I remember is one thing. We were up by about three or four points at 190, and we lost that match. So that's the last thing I remember. That's, that's the match that turned it around. It, everybody's points counted, but the last ones were 97. I think you had a guy named Boyd or something like Andy that. Boyd. Yeah, I mean, something like that. Stepped on your guy's foot. Herbert holding on to a one-point lead here on Pete Friedel with a second left. So that score will stand up as we work our way to the second period. And again, trying to keep you up to breast on what's going on as far as the team scoring goes here. First place worth 16 team points, second worth 12, 10 for third, nine for fourth, and down the line. But the points that are available right now, if you're going for first place, you've already got second place points awarded to your team. So the points really available if you consider it, four points if you win first place today, one point for third, one point for fifth, plus you can rack up bonus points for pins, technical falls, and majors as you go along the way. So those essentially are the points that are available in this final session of matches here as we try to crown an overall team champ in 2005. Again, Herbert of Northwest.
Northwestern at 174, leading Friedel of Illinois at 174 pounds. Friedel 32 and 3 on the season. Herbert 24 and 1. His lone loss to Friedel earlier this year. These guys have split two previous meetings on the season. The last the time they met, Friedel actually was the winner. You know, no wonder I don't like this guy beside me here. I didn't realize you were part of that one loss I had between 83 and 97. This, this arena experienced one loss, and you were on that team. I told him he needed extra security when he came in here today because you and the rest of the Hawkeye fans would know that. Well, I didn't know it right now. I just I remember that 97-pound match, but now that I'm sitting beside this guy, I'm a little more upset. I'm sorry, Coach. Don't no, hit okay, me. No, okay. I, I, don't put that gable arm bar on me. I'll put a double arm bar on you. Oh. And Herbert and Friedel now tied up at two as Friedel picks up a point for the escape. You know, Herbert has had a wonderful run. Unbeaten in his senior season of high school in Pennsylvania, North Allegheny. Undefeated in his redshirt season last year, and then he won his first 22 matches this year before losing to Friedel earlier in this year. Yeah, Jake had a great career in Pennsylvania. I know him from my camps. He's come through grown up. He, he was destined to, to get good. He kept getting better and better. And, oh, and bigger and bigger. And I think he's going to move up another way next year. And he's just, the bigger they get, you know, if, they're, if they got good skills and they're young and they grow up, look, look at Kale Sanderson. He, he moves so much better than his opponent. Yes, it's a close he combines situation. motion and technique. Yeah, he's that not, head down, as soon as that head comes up, he can score, but he's not. He's not finishing on Herbert. Herbert is a very hard to finish on wrestling. North Allegheny High School, that's where Ray Brinzer, I believe, was yeah, from. Yeah, it is. That's the legendary Gus D'Augustino built a powerhouse, North Allegheny, as you know. Gus was an NCAA champion many times, and, and he's been a, a great coach at the high school and college level. So these two guys are 2-2 going to the third with Herbert also having riding time. Here's a look at Herbert earlier against Gabe Dretch of Minnesota. Almost got pinned in an earlier round here. Devastating position, but was able to work his way out of it and worked his way to the victory. So that close between not advancing here to the championship round for Jake Herbert. Yeah, that was a barn burner, and he came off his back of that one, and he just turned it on from there, and it just shows he just keeps wrestling. And again, a red shirt freshman, you see them sometimes as lightweights do well quick, but not usually this weight, and he, he's had a great season. Well, what really impressed me was when his initial shot put him in a position to score, he didn't hesitate. A lot of people hesitate and they get called for stalemates. He went right in on this particular match on a single, had the inside, and finished that takedown immediately. That's the key to being a champion, whether it's Big Tens or NCAAs or high school state championships. You've got to finish quickly. It seems that wrestlers get better and better at countering and leeching on stalemate and scrambling, rolling. So you, it seems the defense has improved more over the past decade than the offense. And so you've got to be really precise and quick on your finishes. Well, Herbert picks up a point for the escape. 3-2 lead as Friedel tries to get something going. He's done enough so far to knock off riding time for the moment. Friedel's got a good single leg. He showed that already. He put Herbert in trouble, so, you know, he's capable of scoring. The Friedel is the fourth Illinois wrestler so far of the five in the championship round, but only one other winner so far for the Illini. Friedel trying to pick up some team points. And the Illini fans, coaching staff, don't want to let another situation slip away where they can lengthen their lead and their stranglehold in this championship. Yeah, they, they need to get this to pull away. You know, you know, Coach Johnson and Coach Hefferman are both sweating out. And Coach Gable, you know, those are those are guys that both worked under you, and Jimmy was an NCAA champion for you. That's got to be pretty exciting for you to see them with the potential here to win their first Big Ten championship in, you know, since the 50s. Well, absolutely. You know, they've uh, 52 years, I think, and, uh, you know, they've both been very close. They've had good teams, but uh, this is the closest they have been, and they don't want to walk away without it, especially when Carver Hawkeye. Good crowds, great atmosphere. You know, three seniors, I think. They still have a good team coming back, but they're going to lose some valuable people. I bet you'd be really exciting for meaningful for them with all their ties to Iowa for Mark Johnson, the Illinois coach, and Jim Hefferman, his right hand man, to win a Big Ten championship here in Hawkeye Carver Arena. Well, you know, Minnesota with Coach Robinson's ties here too, you know, he, he'd be pretty excited because he's had a lot of losses this year and he came in here in the dual meet and got beat pretty bad and, and he's right back in for the hunt. So, you know, he's been there before though, yeah. unlike Johnson. All right, no, no doubt Jay would like to win it too.
too. But right, Jay, Jay's won, what, three out of the last five. Minnesota's won three last five. This is a big scramble here at the end. Final few seconds here. Herbert up 3-2 on Friedel. He's going to hold on. And Jake he Herbert. needs to make something happen, but he can't shake free. Look at one last attempt. Hey, you freedom. You called it. A winner here. He called it when he said he was going to hold on to the championship. He hung on. He stayed out, you know, out of good wrestling position. And Friedel was able to put himself in. And position. a credit to Friedel. That was a beautiful inside trip. And Mark Johnson and Jim Hefferman are very, very happy. Mark Johnson uh, and the rest of the Illinois staff and teammates coming over to Pete Friedel. And you know what? Great wrestlers do great things at big times. Alex Tirapelli did it for Illinois in the final seconds. And now Friedel in the final five wow. with that leg trip. Inside trip. I don't know. That was quick, but he got it. He did get it. No, I think he had it. He and had it about a second and a half. I mean, it's just, you know, a matter of two different moves there was it the same move or not it was two different moves i agree take down and then he reached in growth he, he kind of has